So, our memory verse is Luke 6, 38. All right, time for the memory verse. Okay, I'm going to read it to you guys. Go ahead. Give generously, and generous gifts will be given back to you, shaken down to make room for more. It's like if you got a big bucket Here, full of stuff and you, you shake it, then all the little air spaces in between all the items, it goes down because all the little pieces are shaking and shifting and fitting down into to make more room in the bucket. So that's what it's talking about. Back to you, shaken down to make room for more. Abundant gifts. Abundant. Does anyone know what abundant means? No. What does it mean, Carson? A lot. Abundant. Yeah. Is that your mom's name? Abundance? Wow. Hey. Abundant gifts will pour out upon you. Are you going to pour that on me? No, I'm okay. not. Pour out upon you with such an overflowing measure that you will run over the top. Whoa. Okay, so look at this right now. You see that? See how much room's in there? Okay, now watch. Ready? Shake it now down. I can get a lot more in there. See, it went lower. That's what it means by shaking down. So you guys can get like a good Like when example. somebody's digging through it to look for what's at the bottom of the bucket to pick a, a goodie out of it, then all it, it kind of like, it looks Lifts like up. it gets, there's more in there. And then when you shake it, it goes down so you can fit more stuff in there. So who knows what generous means? Raise your hand if you know what generous means. Carson, do you know? Being nice to others. Adrian is pretty generous. That's a, that's a part of it. That is a part of generosity. But who knows what generosity you have. Okay. Madison? It's willing to do stuff without being asked. Willing to do stuff. That, that's kind of close. What generosity involves. And Shay, did you, did you know? And nice. Okay, so all yes. those play a part in being generous. But the main thing of generosity is hey, put that on your chair. That's the main thing of generosity. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, generosity is giving. That's it. So it's giving. If I am giving you a candy that you know you didn't pay for or anything, and I just want to give to you because you know what, Shay, because I think you're awesome, and I just want to give you a candy. This right here is being generous. I was just being generous to you. Does that make sense? Okay, so, so, so <laughs> you already got a Snickers. Okay, so it says, give generously. That means, you, it means I'm not holding back. So I'm going to give to you, and I'm not just going to give you just a little bit. I'm going to give you a lot because I love you and I want you to have some awesome candy. Does that make sense? Okay, so give generously and generous gifts will be given back to you. Now, what's that mean? That means that if Pastor Annie came and she gave me, like, earlier uh, in this week, she bought me some cool shirts, okay? She got me a bunch of cool shirts that I can wear. And that was a generous gift. I didn't even ask for them, and she gave that. And so this yesterday, I bought her some really beautiful flowers. Aww. And so I gave back to her. That was, it says, give generously, and generous gifts will be given back to you. So she gave generously, so she got generous gifts back to her. And then it says, shaken down to make room for more. Abundant gifts will pour out upon you with such an overflowing measure that it will run over the top. So it would be as if this was my abundant gifts and I was pouring them out over her. Or if I had like, say that I had like I something to pour it into, like a bowl, and it was just running over the top of the bowl onto the stage, because that would be running over the top. Yes. Yep, like filling up a drink. That's perfect. So, and then it says your measurement of generosity, meaning how much you give, becomes the measurement of your return. So if I'm stingy, who knows what stingy means? 
Yeah. You just keep it for like yourself. I'm greedy and keep it for myself. It's like I have a bag of eight candies, and all of you could have a candy. Each of you could have a candy. But I'm like, no, they're my candies. And I hold on to them. If I, if I did that, yeah, yeah, well, but what if I, what if I wanted to give and not have any? So I could be stingy and hold on then to it them. it would be given back to him. Not exactly. that you guys would give the candy back to him, but somebody. This is like a rule of, of the world God. that God has created. Yeah. So even though you can't see generosity sometimes, it's like you can't see other invisible things like gravity, but we know that it affects us. Yeah. So like when you jump in the air and stuff, you can feel the G-forces coming down on your body. It pulls you back down to the floor. Same thing with generosity. If you give to people, then God will see to it. It's just the way he created the world that you will have more given to you.